Now we have registered these services. How do you consume it? Right? You have to have a way for you to say, hey, Eureka server, give me this service. Where is the consuming happening? It's happening in the movie catalog service. Right? So this is where we've written the bad code to hard code the URL. So the way to consume it involves, as you can probably guess, another annotation. So when you have a REST template that you are using, you can say, OK, I'm going to use REST template to make an API call to service discovery, get the service location, and make the same use the same REST template to make another API call. But guess what? REST template has the ability to hide that from you. You can tell REST template that, OK, I want you to call the service discovery every time. I'm just going to give you the service name, and you're going to call service discovery every time. You remember that model that I told about how server-side service discovery happens? The client just calls something and says, send the message to this service. Well, here, that's not happening. It's happening on the client side, but the library uses that model. So rather than you having making multiple calls, you tell the library, go through Eureka, and pass that message to the service. This is a service that I'm interested in. The library knows Eureka. It's going to call Eureka, get the service location, and then it's going to make another call. So it's still, things are happening on the client side, but the library provides that abstraction the same way a server-side service discovery would provide. So you don't have to do multiple hops. So what you need to do is use an annotation called at load balanced. There's no add service discovery annotation. It's add load balance, but it does a couple of things. It does service discovery in a load balanced way. So it does a bunch of things, but you're basically telling REST template, don't go to a service directly. Whatever URL I'm giving you, it's not the actual URL. The URL I'm giving you is basically a hint about what service you need to discover. That's what this annotation does. All right. So now, just by doing this, REST template is going to look for hints about which service to call when you give it the URL. What URL am I giving it? I'm now giving it localhost 8083. This has no hints about which service you need to call. It's going to take this and ask Eureka, hey, what's localhost 8083? Eureka says, I don't know. Eureka just knows these three names. All right? So this is the name you need to tell REST template. It's easy to say, rather than localhost 8083, I'm going to say call. ratings dash data dash service. This looks a little bit odd because it looks like a URL, but it's not. But you don't have to worry about it because we have told REST template to not take the U URL literally, but to call Eureka instead. So that's why this is going to work. If you want to make a call directly, this wouldn't work. Similarly, for this guy here, I'm going to say uh, movie dash info dash service, all right? The restart. REST template is going to detect this as a service name. It assumes it's a service name, calls Eureka, gets the actual port, actual host and port, and then makes the subsequent call. So it looks just like you're making a single call, but all that abstraction is hidden away in the library, all right? Now, go back here, refresh, we get an error, which we have to fix. No instance is available for ratings data service. I made a typo here. So what's happening there, uh, I'm going to use the opportunity of the typo to illustrate something. What's happening there is REST template says, OK, I'm, I need to look for ratings data service. It's going to call Eureka server. Eureka server says, I don't know. I don't find the service, and that's what's complaining here. right? But if I fix the typo and restart, and now it works. No hard coding anywhere. right? We're using service discovery. Guess what happens when we deploy this whole thing to production or QA or whatever? It still works fine, right? because you must have a Eureka server there, but then it, it, the same mechanism works. 